Hello, so this is day six of our Pavlik Harness journey and I actually feel like there's been quite a lot going on today already. Um, so I finally got round to sorting out the sleepy head and I'm actually really chuffed with how it turned out. Um, I will post um, the video I made in the hope that anybody else who had a baby that um, used a sleepy head pre-harness um, will hopefully be able to adapt it in the same way so their baby can sort of still sleep comfortably in like an environment that they're used to um, without it impeding, um, you know, what the harness is meant to do in terms of allowing the legs to be as wide as possible, which is, you know, as I said before, the problem that I found with um, the sleepy head. So that's a really positive um, thing that's happened today. Aside from that, um, I've been feeling a bit sad today, actually, um, for a couple of reasons. Um, I was sorting out some clothes in Max's room, and obviously, as you do when you have a baby, you sort of buy quite a lot um, before they're born, when they're born, in various sizes. And I've just got so much stuff now that he's just not going to be able to wear. Um, I'm sad for me more than anything and then I'm sad that I feel sad because it's really stupid that I feel sad over clothes. Um, but you just can't help how you feel. Oh God, I feel I'm getting a bit emotional now. Um, you can't help how you feel. Um, you know, all the sweet little clothes that I bought um, that now I feel like he's gonna go to waste because he's essentially living in, at the moment, like two pairs of trousers and a vest that we're changing every couple of days. Um, so that's just a big crap. Um, and the other thing that's made me feel a bit rubbish is, um, as I said, I was sorting out the holiday clothes because we're going away this weekend and I was really hopeful I'd be able to use some of Freddie's old rompers um, that were in bigger sizes for Max, but I've tried them on today and he just looks absolutely ridiculous. Um, they don't do up properly um, and because it's going over the harness and then over the leg suspension straps which essentially uh, they sit away from the skin the romper is basically like a tent over him and it just looks stupid so i was digging out some shorts and i've managed to find only two pairs of freddie's old shorts that fit over um the harness well without sort of looking stupid being too bulky or um pulling max's legs in so um again it's really stupid it probably sounds quite shallow really that i'm getting upset that um he's only going to be able to wear two pairs of shorts on holiday um and i'll be the only one that notices that but it is what it is i can't help how i feel about it um something else which again which just annoyed me i feel like there's been lots of things annoying me today um i took Max for a weigh-in last Friday, which was the day after we um, got our harness fitted. And I was clearly very, very emotional when I um, went to the um, clinic, because um, it was so raw. And the ladies there from the health visiting team said that they would um, obviously get my um, specific health visitor to contact me, um, just to offer me a little bit more support, see what's out there, you know, maybe do a few additional checks for Max. Um, it's now, what, five, six days on and I haven't heard from them. Um, and I just think that's really poor. You know, I really felt like I didn't have a great experience at the hospital to start with. And now I'm feeling like I'm not getting great experience from the health visiting team. Um, that being said, uh, a lady did reach out to me um, after watching these videos and she lives quite locally to me and she said that she'd had a, a, a really good experience so far with her hospital. Um, so maybe it's just, um, maybe I've just been quite unlucky um, with that, but she did give me another tip. So um, she also was saying that her daughter was struggling to sleep and she used the analogy that they must just feel like sort of a turtle which is on its back which is so true because when they're on their backs their legs are essentially suspended in the air and that must put quite a lot of um strain on like muscles that you don't even think about and then it's obviously waiting on the chest strap as the legs are trying to weigh forwards and um, so she said that she'd been rolling up a towel and putting that underneath her daughter's feet when she was on her back to almost um create a support so I'm gonna try that tonight and see if that helps um with uh Max's sleeping I thought that was a really really great tip so um I'll share if that's working um for me 
Um, what else are we going on? Um, I went on to uh, Vinted yesterday and I managed to buy a couple of secondhand baby grows. I did the M&S range, you know, the dysplasia range, because um, as I said previously, I, I thought the baby grows were actually the only item that I um, was loving. Um, the other items I am probably gonna send back. Um, but yeah, that's that's it really, you know, a, one positive with the sleepy head and then quite a few negatives. So um, this journey is definitely a roller coaster. Um, I've been up feeling like I'm like bossing life, like sorting everything out, feeling on top of everything, getting really confident and comfortable. And then something so stupid, such as clothes getting me down, but um, it is what it is, it's a journey. Um, and yeah, I'm just glad that we're, um, gonna be on it together I guess uh that's about it for today um I'll upload the sleepyhead video um and there yeah we'll check back in tomorrow catch you later